Speed Duel is a fast-paced alternative format for Yu-Gi-Oh! using regular cards and throwing in skills to shake things up, making some unused cards more viable, allowing more anime strategies to come to life. Join us as we progress through each Speed Duel product release and draft each skill available at that time before battling it out in Speed Duel Skill Draft. Attack from the Deep primarily includes support for water monsters, but also has some minor support for other decks such as Warriors, Spellcasters, Ritual and Zombies. This set includes 5 new skill cards for us to draft. The World's Greatest Fisherman lets you pay 500 life points and discard one water monster. Then add one water monster from your grave to hand with a different name and with a level no more than twice the discarded monsters. Mythic Depths lets you start the duel with Umi on the field, increasing the attack of all fish, sea serpent, thunder and aqua monsters, while decreasing machines and pyros. Catch of the Day lets you activate Umi from your deck if you control the legendary fisherman, and when said fisherman destroys a monster by battle or inflicts damage, you can special summon a level 4 or lower water monster from your deck or grave in defense position. It's My Lucky Day lets you pay a thousand life points when you would flip a coin or roll a dice and choose the result, allowing you to guarantee a random effect goes your way once per duel. Finally, Viral Infection lets you discard any number of cards and declare one card type, monster spell or trap. Your opponent sends one card of the declared type from their deck to the grave for each card discarded. Since Alex lost last set, he drafts first and takes Catch of the Day. I take Mythic Depths, followed by Alex taking the world's greatest fisherman. For my last pick, I take It's My Lucky Day, which leaves Alex with Viral Infection. So this is the deck bringing to today's game. This is It's My Lucky Day Dark Magician Coin Flip deck. So this is a bit of a strange one. The skill we're running today is It's My Lucky Day. So when you activate an effect that would make you roll a six-sided dice or flip a coin, you can pay 1,000 life points to decide the result of one die or coin. You can only use it once per duel. The card we've decided to try and pair this with is Time Wizard, as I feel like it's going to give us the most bang for our buck. Just being able to wipe all of Alex's monsters seems like it could be pretty good. So Time Wizard, toss a coin, call it. If you call it right, destroy monsters monster you play controls. If you call it wrong, destroy as many monsters you control as possible and take damage equal to half the attack of those monsters. So ideally, we will be using It's My Lucky Day on Time Wizard, wiping Alex's board and then trying to play into the rest of the deck, which is Dark Magician. So the combo is hopefully going to be end up with a Time Wizard by using our Apprentice Magician or Magical Undertaker to special summon it to the field. and Ideally, end Alex's turn with it on our field. Use its effect and it's my lucky day to force it to go off the destroy of Alex's field. Then we'll tribute it to summon Dark Magician Girl. Then use Sage's Stone, which will let a special summon Dark Magician from hand or deck. And then that is in itself 4,500 damage. Now, this isn't exactly foolproof because there are cards like Sphere Karibo and Windstorm of Ataqua, which could interfere with this, but we've just got to kind of do what we can. So we are on a 30 card deck. And the reason for that is that we are basically playing a lot of of bricky and a lot of moving pieces and combo pieces so we don't want to just draw into all of them at once and by having a larger deck it's less likely we will but we do have a lot of searching and draw power in the deck so we should hopefully be able to find what we're looking for the next monster legion the fiend jester during a main phase you can tribute summon one spell cast that monster face protect position to a normal summon a set so this is really good just because we can summon it and then immediately summon out dark magician girl which immediately sets up sage's stone into dark magician the other effect is if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a spell cast to normal monster from your deck to your hand. This can be relevant because although we can special summon Dark Magician from the deck, we also don't want to hard draw into it. We'd rather just get it into our hand early so we just have less chance to draw into it. And it also pairs very nicely with Wonder Wands, which we can equip only to a spell cast monster against 500 attack, which is a decent boost. But we can also send this and the equipped monster to the graveyard to draw two cards. So we could use this on Legion of the Fiend just to send it to the graveyard, draw two, search out Dark Magician and effectively just replenish our resources. So Apprentice Magician is in here basically just to find Time Wizard, but it can also find itself, and it can find Undertaker and the one copy of Magician of Faith. We're only on the one because we're not playing that many spell cards we kind of want to see again. It's just kind of here to, we can use it, maybe flip it, bring back a Wonder Wand, equip it, sacrifice it, draw two cards. Two copies of Sphere Karibo, just a really good hand trap. We're on three copies of Dice Food. This is our backup plan, I suppose, for our uh, It's a Lucky Day skill. 
because we can roll a six-sided dice and then destroy the one spell, spell or trap, two spell or traps, or take a thousand damage. We don't really want to be taking the thousand damage, but it's a risk we might have to take. Wonder Wand again in here because attack boost is good and draw power good. And then Windstorm of Ataqua is the speed duel MVP. Just changing Alex's battle positions can save us in the games. And then side deck, we're just on spell trap destruction in case Alex is playing any kind of burn shenanigans. I don't think he will, but just in case he is, we're definitely going to want the counter to that so we don't just get blown out by it. So that's the deck. It's a bit weird. Uh, I'm less confident in this deck than I have been in most of the others, but we're going to go in and see how it goes. At the very least, I think this should be a fun game. So let's fire on in and see if we can't beat Alex. So, this is a bit different, isn't it? Looking all yeah. dueling booky. So, uh, yeah, we uh, we tried to play in EDO, and we we knew the EDO was going to be buggy at some point with some of these skills. We didn't expect it this early on, like set two. Um, so we have already had to migrate, and we have moved over to dueling book to play this episode well i should go and going forward we'll probably just use dueling book for all the speed duel but uh it's going to be manual so there might be some growing pains but i'm sure we'll get through it as for the decks that we've brought it should be interesting to see what we both have this is a very water-based set if i recall correctly remember there's a lot of mako skills going about so i wouldn't be surprised to see us both on something like that three of them right yeah 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 because before we had, what was it? The, it was mainly zombie and like bones stuff. Mm -hmm. This is kind of the Mako set. I'm waiting for the uh, the Rex Raptor set. So I want my dinos personally. But oh, Should we uh, should we fire on in and rock, paper, scissors our way through? Yeah, let's do it. Ooh. Oof. Hey. <laughs> um, I will go second. Here's our skills. So again, everything is manual. Okay. Well, but if you make a mistake, you can take set. it back. So. Uh, we will. Awesome. Ooh. There we go. Okay. High tide Eugen. <laughs> and you're on a Mako skill. And. <laughs> Okay, so auto draw is ticked, so when I click start turn, it will just draw me a card. Um, Alright, how am I dealing with this? I think the play is going to be to set a monster, and then set a couple of back rows, and then we'll pass the key. Okay. Wait for that one. Okay. Uh, attack. This. Okay. Well, you have killed my Apprentice Magician, which will trigger Ooh. its effect. And let me look at my deck. And Special Summoner Monster in face down defense position. So for now, I think I'm going to summon out my Magical Undertaker. So, there we go. Vanish hand. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's really the effect. <laughs> Are you done? Oh, yep. Yeah. Alright, so we'll draw. Ooh, okay. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. I think we probably straight up just pass on this. Okay. Okay, I've got my uh, my Undertaker. Still have got nothing to do stamp, I have a nice so just main. Mm -hmm. uh, we will activate this tornado. Yep. Which one's your target? Just click uh, on let's see. Let's go with that one. Okay, uh, there's no point in me using it, so. I suppose it might, there might be a reason to use it, so I'll flip over Windstorm. Ooh, it's a defense. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, now you manually have to change it, so it might mean something. Uh, oh god. <laughs> uh, right. Control the legendary fisherman, so I can activate this. Okay, so catch of the day. If you control Legendary Fisherman, you can activate Umi directly from your deck or graveyard. This skill can be used once per duel. Once per turn, when Legendary Fisherman you control destroys a monster by battle or inflicts damage to your opponent, you can switch some level 4 or lower water monster from your deck or graveyard. Defense position. Okay. So, we will activate Umi. Lows. Oh, good. That shuffles. Mm-hmm. Um, go to battle. Yep. Attack. Well, you will take out my magical undertaker, and using his effect, I can special summon Apprentice Magician from the grave. And uh, then, I'll, yeah, catch I get the, day the effect of Catch the Day, so. Okay. That's a pain in the ass one. Indeed. Uh, end. Alright. We will draw for turn. Ah, now is that worth using here? Almost certainly not. I think the play will be. This is where things get a bit tricky. I think I'm just going to pass the turn again, to be honest. I think Apprentice okay. Magician is fine. Uh, uh, let's see. Tribute Yomi Ship. Okay. For Legendary Fisherman. Oh, there's two of them. Now I can attack you directly, haha. <laughs> Oh wait, I should have made phase one. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Enter battle step and attack. Okay, so he will be destroyed. Um, and then... Da, 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 da. So, your turn player, so you will be chain link one, which means I'm chain link two, which means I resolve a printed magician first, so you get to see what I get before you pick what you're getting. So I'm going to take Apprentice Magician, okay. and it'll be face down. And I get to do this. Yep. And my second attack. Yep. So to the grave with my Apprentice Magician. And then from the deck, I will summon Time Wizard. Ooh. <laughs> Face down. Uh, and step and turn. Okay. So I'm going to flip summon my Time Wizard. So I can toss a coin and call it. If I call it right, I can destroy all monsters. If your opponent controls to call it wrong, I destroy as many monsters as I control as possible. If I do, I take damage for half the attack. So right now it'd only be 250, so that's not the end of the world. So I'm going to go ahead and declare the effect, which will then activate my It's My Lucky Day. So when you activate an effect that would make you roll a six-sided dice or flip a coin, you can pay a thousand life points. So in the middle, I just take like 1,000. And then I can choose the result. So I'm going to choose Time Wizard is resulting in a heads. Which means I destroy all monsters my opponent controls. Oof. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, yep. Next up, I'm going to activate my Wonder Wand and equip it to my Time Wizard. This increases attack by 500, and what I can do is I can send this and the equipped monster to the graveyard and draw two cards. So I'm going to activate the effect and attempt to send both to the graveyard. So grave, grave, and then we draw and draw. Next up, 
I'm going to activate Dice Foon. Now I actually have to roll a dice for this one. Uh, so we'll see what we get. Uh, I take a thousand damage. Yikes. Not what we were hoping for, but that's fine. Alright, I guess we just kind of have to do this then. Uh, so I will normal summon my Legion the Fiend Jester. So during the main phase, you contribute summon one spell cast a monster in face up attack position in addition to your normal summon or set. And then if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a spell cast a normal monster from your deck to your hand. So I'm going to tribute it using the extra normal summon to summon my Dark Magician Girl. This then triggers Legion of the Fiend Jester's effect, which lets me search my deck for Dark Magician and put it into my hand. Then we're going to activate Sage's Stone. So if I control Dark Magician Girl, I can summon Dark Magician from hand or deck. Assuming you're not going to negate that. Oh. So then I summon the Dark Magician. We will then set a card to the back row. This should be a main phase. We'll go to battle phase. We will attempt to attack directly with Dumption Girl. I will activate Windstorm. Yeah, you. this is why we wanted to destroy it with Dice Boon. That's the wrong one. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're both in defense mode. And that ends our turn. My turn. But this is what my deck does. It tries to time oh. wizard your board away and then attack you with big guys. Yes. <laughs> um... Yeah, it would be on the board. Right, so I'm going to activate War Hazard. Okay, it's not pretending. Especially summon level 4 or level 1 monster from your hand. You must control no monsters. Okay. Special summon High Tide Geogen. Okay, so he's going to be 1850. That, that. Go to battle. Heck. Over these. Uh, I think we will flip over our windstorm here. Defense. But like, if I lose Dark Magician Girl, I'm in a pretty bad spot. Start. We will change this to attack. Change this to attack. I think we'll then just go straight to battle. We will... Hmm. We'll attack this with this. Yep, so to grave. And then Dark Magician Girl attacks the defense monster. Yeah. Yo, Which destroys the monster that destroyed it, so this one gets destroyed. Okay. And then it's your turn. Oof. Uh... <laughs> well, I don't currently have lethal, so... End. <laughs> right, right. I need a normal summonable monster to win the game here. Let's see what we do. Oh. You're fucking shaking me. We got a normal summonable monster. It is not enough. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. What we're going to do is we're going to normal summon Magic Undertaker. Mm-hmm. I'm then going to use Wonder Wand, equip it to my Undertaker, and then use Wonder Wand's effect to send both the Grave to draw two cards. That didn't help. We will go to Battle Phase, and I will just attack directly for 25. Oh, that's the wrong. No, attack directly. Not oh, click end game button. There we go. Uh, so. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Then pass back to you. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ooh, me. End. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you could have a Sphere Karibo, so just in case I will... Normal Summon Legion, and then Sack Legion for Dark Magician Girl. Go to battle at the early. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, that's game one. Ah, there we go. Uh, just a second. Okay, dokey. I don't want to go first. 
I suppose. I will set and set. The old T set and pass, baby. You're up. Okay. I will. <sighs> that normal summon. He's back. Activate. Okay. Go to battle. Attack. How will you defeat Time Wizard? End. Alright, we will draw. We will set a monster. And we will pass the turn. Okay. Well. There we go. Yep. To the grave. <laughs> Normal summon. Yep. It's the fisherman. He's back. Um. Kind of need to activate this so we get the other effect. So that mm -hmm. goes to the grave. You. Activate. Close and shuffle. Go to battle. <clears throat> Attack. Well, it is my apprentice magician. So, again, I'm your chain link one, I'm chain link two. So, apprentice magician effect. We will search out our magical undertaker again. I will do. Special to defense. Mm hmm. And burned. Right, draw standby main phase. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to let summon my magical undertaker. Mm -hmm. This will let me bring back a card from the grave. So I'm going to bring back. I'm going to bring back Time Wizard, I think. Wow. Next up, I'm going to activate Wonder Wand and equip it to my Magical Undertaker. Do you have any response? Nope. I'm going to declare the effect of Wonder Wand and send both to Brave to draw two cards. hoping for. Do I just fire off the Time Wizard blind? In mean, worst case scenario, I lose Time Wizard and 250 life points. That's not a bad outcome. So yeah, we're, we're going to use Time Wizard effect. So again, if I... I have to call it. So I'm going to call Tails. So if it's Tails, I'm destroying both your monsters. If it's Heads, mm -hmm. I'm destroying my Time Wizard. We'll flip the coin. Heads. So my guy gets destroyed. I lose 250 life points. And I will set a monster in defense. Go to end phase, pass the turn. Okay. Set. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Okay. Uh... Uh, swap EME shit to attack. Hey, that's not fair. You can't just understand that all my cards have low defense. <laughs> <laughs> well, enter battle. Yep. Attack. Okay, well, you've destroyed Magic Undertaker, which will trigger its effect, and I will summon Apprentice Magician for the grave. And then we'll attack. You will destroy Apprentice Magician, chain link one. We will resolve that by special summoning another one in defense mode. This will be face down. And then you get to use your captain day if you want to. Yep. Special summon in defense. Okie dokie. That's a truffle. Ooh. Uh, uh. Alright, draw for turn. Hmm. 
what do we want to do with this? I think the play is to just pass the turn here. Okay. I'm going to set a back row. Okay. I'm going to activate Dust Tornado, destroying that. Then I will activate my Windstorm of Attack for. <laughs> Uh, I can put my guys back, right? Yep. Yeah. Brave with you. Uh. Enter the battle step. Yep. Let's hack. Fortunately for you, 800 defense. Ooh. Yep, so that'll go to Grave, it'll use its effect. Oh wait, no, hang on, I've got Umi on the board. Oh yes, yes, yes. So yeah, you do gain 200, so you will destroy that with the Yomi ship deck. Uh, I will still get to summon from deck, so... We will special summon this. Set on the field. Yep, and then I'll get this effect. Search for... Magician of Fate. Uh, we'll attack. I shall destroy that, and then Magician of Fate effect, I will grab Wonder Wand back to hand. Okay. And... Right, draw for turn. Hmm, this is where things might get a little bit spicy. So, how do we... This the problem is you have Yomi ship out, which means no matter what I do, you can destroy my monsters. If I leave them in attack mode. So with that in mind, what's my next best option? That that. Hmm. This is tricky. Mm. All right, we're gonna normal summon. Legion the Fiend Jester. Any response? <laughs> no. I will activate one to one targeting Legion the Fiend Jester. Any mm -hmm. response to that? Nope. I'm going to declare one to one and send the grave. Um. So I will declare Legion as chain link two, one to one as chain link one. Then. Mind you, it's one mandatory. Wonder One's mandatory. This is... Yeah, yes, it has to work that way anyway. So I will use Legion's effect to search Dark Magician and put it in my hand. And then draw two. Uh, that's not exactly what we're after. We will set, set, and set before passing the turn. Okay. Uh, well, I'll... Straight to battle. Okay. Attack. So we're looking at all of my life points here, so... We will... It's a bit windstorm here. Uh... Okay. All right. Well, I still need to draw something that does not do anything. Uh, what does this do? What does this do indeed? I will end the turn. Okay. Don't worry. I've still got a play on Alex. We're, we're going to be fine. Go to battle. Yep. Back directly. We will use Sphere Karibo to change it to defense mode. Attack directly. Okay. We will take the 2000 from both of the Yomi ships. Okay. <laughs> 
Right, we need a good draw here. It's the worst draw in the deck. I think quite literally. No, actually, I guess one of these would have been slightly worse. Um, I will activate Dice Foon. Uh, I will take a thousand damage. <laughs> I will activate Dice Foon. <laughs> I'll take a thousand damage. What? Oh, damn. Um, I go out on my terms, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, at least we're going to a game three. Let's see if uh, the spellcaster coin flippy dice rolly can beat the uh, water swarm. Ah. I'm going to go second. Let's hope that extra card helps me out. Okay. Well, this okay. is an interesting end. I will set and end. Could that be a Yomi ship? Mm, you never know. Try attacking it. I can't get over 1,400 defense, mate. <laughs> Gonna set a monster. I don't know if you realise this. My deck's quite uh, quite a low power deck most of the time. Yeah. Uh, we'll pass it to defense monster. Okay. Uh, we will agree with you. Normal summon. It's legendary figurman. Activate. Yep. For you. Here comes Ubu. Activate. No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You can just banish Windstorm. <laughs> Third deck. Well, that's yeah, the top deck. Yep. You stop hovering over that. Right. Uh... I want to set this. Ooh. No. Go to battle. Back. Wow. Right, well, Legion goes, gets destroyed, so once again I'll be doing mine first. So I search for Dark Magician, put it into my hand, and then you get to use your Act to the Day. Yep. So view. Special Summon Defense. Just stop. <laughs> yeah. And it's because that right. Yeah. Card is right next to the X, and if you go anywhere near that X, it thinks you want to fucking use the <laughs> card next to it. Yeah, yeah, I know it could be annoying. We will set a monster mm -hmm. and pass the turn. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm going to. Normal summon a high tide gouge. Okay. Schwab this to attack. Mm hmm. Good battle. Who you okay. get? Well, thanks to your build spell, you successfully destroy my apprentice magician. So I can then view my deck and I will special summon the boy. And he goes face down. 400 defense. He gets destroyed. His effect special summons from the graveyard. Apprentice Magician. And effect. And then her effect. Special summon from the deck. Yes, it's got to be. Yeah, we'll do another one. Thanks. Alright, we'll draw. Hmm. There's a tricky hand I've got here. Play is just to <laughs> set this and then straight up past the turn. Okay. 
The apprentice. So, with apprentice effect, we will search. Um, I think it's got to be. Apprentice. Be face okay. down. Apprentice? Yep, apprentice effect. We will summon. Undertaker, who will get flipped face down. And attack this. Magician of Faith, and I have no spells in group. Hmm. Alright, drop turn. Oh, okay. we have plays with this. So I'm going to, <laughs> to make dice spoon. I'm just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna not use this skill, we're just gonna roll a dice. Uh, I'm gonna take a thousand. God damn. <laughs> uh then I'm gonna activate dice spoon. We're gonna roll a dice. I'm gonna take How do I keep thousand. getting away with it? <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's it's meant to be in my favour. That it's a thirty-three percent chance that uh, I take a thousand damage, but evidently thirty-three is enough. Okie dokie. So I will now flip summon my magical undertaker. Mm -hmm. Uses effect to summon a monster from grave. So, I'm going to special summon Apprentice Magician. I'm then going to tribute my Magical Undertaker to the normal summon Dark Magician Girl. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to fire off Sage's Stone, and from the deck, special summon the Dark Magician. But what we're going to do is summon him... Does it matter if we put an attack or defense? He has plenty of defense. We'll put them in attack. Then we will go to battle. I will attempt to attack into your high tide fusion with Dark Magician Girl. Yep. Yeah. That's great. Okay, that'll be 150 damage. Then we will attempt to attack the legendary fisherman of Dark Magician. I'm going to activate a forceful checkpoint. When first monster has attack, look at your opponent's hand. If there is a monster card, negate the attack. Then discard one monster from their hand. Yep, that's fine. Sure. There you go. Uh huh. That's. Hmm. Let's discard a monster from their hand. Um, yeah, Dark Magician. Okay. And then you negate that attack. Yep. And then we will pass back to you. Not turn. Okay. Send your trap to the oh. grave. Yep, to the grave. Um. Hmm. I'm going to set a monster, set a back row. Yep. No. <laughs> God <laughs> fucking damn it. Okay, if you want to banish a legendary fisherman, I don't mind. Uh, uh, go to attack. No. Swing. Uh, just so you know, my Dark Magician girl gets a boost for every Dark Magician in the graveyard. Gains 300 attack for every Dark Magician. She's 23 at the minute. Mm hmm. Yeah, fire this into this. Oh, okay. Um, so you're 1,000, so you're going to take 1,300, and then both of our guys are going to die? As is? Mm-hmm. 
agree with you. And you attack him. Uh, yes. Are you sure you want to attack that? Mm, yes. Because if you do, I will search Time Wizard. <laughs> Uh, yes. I mean, I've already made my choice. Okay, so to the grave. I will take a look at my deck. I will grab Time Wizard and face down defense. Uh, are you using your catch of the day? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, special summon defense. Football. Okay. We will flip summon time wizard. I will declare his skill, assuming you're not doing anything to the flip summon. Mm-hmm. I will activate it's my lucky day. So time wizard destroys all of your monsters. Oh, is it all? Mm-hmm. Oh. Whoops. Now the question is going to become. Oh, I should have run that other Yemi ship into your Dark Magician. Yeah, I was wondering if you were going to or not, but we will. Go to battle. We will attack directly with Dark Magician. Oh, I didn't know if you could have a Sphere Karibo in hand or something. I don't play Sphere Karibo. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Sphere Karibo? This is, a, this is a war deck, Matt. Not a, not a spellcaster deck. Hey, Sphere Karibo is a fiend, and it's a um, hand trap. Might as well be a spell card or a trap card. Oh, um. oh that was a... That was an interesting one, though. I, I'm happy that I got to use It's My Lucky Day and that it wasn't completely crap. It That game, too, I'm not going to lie, it felt a bit crap. But, <laughs> you know, we got to we got to use Time Wizard. And, you know, what's the point of playing Speed Door if you can't use Time Roulette, you know? Yeah. I quite like your Yomi ship strategy, though. Use a... Uh, the legendary fisherman summon out monsters that I don't want to attack over because there's a couple of times where I was like I could summon monsters that are big but you have two Yomi ships so they'll just die <laughs> and it's like what's the point of that you know yeah oh. I never got to use the big boss yeah you're on a big boss mm -hmm. you're on Daedalus oh, Ooh, there he is the big boy well he's, he's quite hard to get out right I mean there's there are ways to cheat him out or, you know, just use um, Catch of the Day to spam dudes out, but still, two tributes is still quite heavy. But to be fair, his effect is kind of worth it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Well, there'll be there'll be more time for Daedalus to show up. There'll be future weeks where we still play Water, I think. Yeah, thanks for the game, buddy. GG. Yeah, GG.